Shanti, how can you conserve your energy to increase healing and promote peace? Yes. First thing is, this chart explains, first thing is, we are occupied in the world, taking care of material things, loved ones, relationship, and also belonging to different ideology, religion, nation, and other ideology. We drain so much energy dealing with the world. So first we have to remove all the distraction from the world. Then we come to the body. Within the body, our motor organs and sense organs function. Five sense organs, seeing, hearing, tasting, touching and smelling, takes the information. And motor organs, speech, grabbing, hands, walking, excretion and procrastination. You know, these are five motor organs. So major motor organs is sight and sound. I mean, sense organs, sight and sound, which takes up lots of information that drains our energy and speech. So sight and hearing for incoming and outgoing speech. So this is what they say, you know, restrain your seeing, restrain your hearing, restrain your speech. You have preserved energy. Stop going to places but not necessary. Don't talk unnecessarily. Then other thing comes is the mind. So first withdrawing the energy from five senses, sense organs. We have to use the sense organs wisely, just like a tortoise who has a very strong shield, but uses arms, legs and head only for getting the prey. Then he hides inside and the shield is so strong the bullets cannot penetrate it. Same way we have to preserve our energy. This is called Pratyahara. Prati Ahara. Withdrawal from food. What it means? F eyes, food for eyes is sight. Food for hearing is a sound. You know, food for the skin is the touch. So, smell, you know, all this. So, restraining the energy. Then, mind gets involved. So, mind occupied with senses. Mind goes in the past and in the future. These are primary preparation before you can go deep inside. Otherwise, it is waste of energy. You don't have foundation, you don't have proper ground floor, and you build second and third floor, the building will crash. Okay. So foundation is necessary. Foundation is yama and niyamas, moral codes, so you are in harmony with nature. Live in rhythm with yourself, live in rhythm with life. And simple guideline is animals through instinct follow the rhythm. And then you have so much energy available for success or finding mental peace or meditation. Same rule. If you want to succeed in the world, you still need to gain this basic control. If you want to succeed in spiritual life, same principle apply. So it is the energy, preservation of energy. People blame people, others who are successful business people, wealthy people. No, they have mastered all the basic principles, but their direction is worldly life. So they are succeeding. We need to control the same internal energy so we can direct it toward God or higher self. So the difference between material success and spiritual success is material success you go outward, spiritual success you go inward. 
material success world admires you, you gain everything followed by loss, pleasure followed by pain. Ultimately, you are in bondage. Spiritual success is internal success. You find bliss. You don't get approval of others. It is lonely path. You find greater joy, greater peace. And it requires more discipline. So, spiritual path requires more discipline than material success. You know, for example, energy, say anger, control energy, that needs energy, but restraining energy is harder. It is easy to get mad, but harder to forgive, you know. So, spiritual path is subtle. It is restraining mind, consciousness, everything. And is also serving the expanding consciousness. Material path is shrinking consciousness. I get successful by stepping on someone. Spiritual path is growing by sharing and expanding consciousness. Okay, so these are the main differences. Thank you, Shanti.